In this video, I will show you how to track embedded type form with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Here I have a demo page with an embedded type form. Also on this website, I have installed a Google Tag Manager container and inside this container, I have a Google Tag for my GA4 property. If you have no idea how Google Analytics is installed with Google Tag Manager, then I will post a link to a tutorial below this video. Watch that first, complete those steps, and then come back to this tutorial. So when it comes to tracking embedded type forms, you will need to add a certain custom code to your container. Below this video, you will find a link to my blog post, and that blog post contains a custom listener code. Copy the entire code, then go to Google Tag Manager, Tags, and click New. Here, click on Tag Configuration, and then select Custom HTML Tag. Then paste this code. In the triggering section, click anywhere and then select all pages. If you want, you can be more specific and fire this listener only on those pages where you expect the type form to be embedded. But for sake of simplicity, we will fire this on all pages. And then let's name this tag. CHTML stands for custom HTML. And then let's name this, let's say type form listener. Click save. This listener right here will be looking for two interactions. One interaction is form started. So when someone answers the first question in the form, this event will be pushed to the data layer. And then when all the form steps are completed and the form is submitted, there will be a form submit event. Let's test if this is working. So I will close this window and then click preview. Here I will enter the URL of the demo page where I have the form and click connect. A new tab will be opened and Tag Assistant is connected. This is the form and I can test at least the first event, which is form started. So I will answer this question and then I am moved to the second question. And here I see the form underscore started. This listener pushes two things to the data layer, the name of the event and then the ID of the form. Then if this was a real project, I would also answer all the remaining questions, submit the form, and then I would expect the form submit event, which is form underscore submit. But now just to keep this video shorter, I will not do that. Once you see the event right here, it means that the listener is working and we can continue our process. The next thing will be to create a data layer variable, which will access the ID of the form. That variable's name will be form underscore ID. Let's go to Google Tag Manager variables, then click new variable configuration and select data layer variable. Here we will enter form underscore ID exactly as it is right here in the data layer. Then let's name this variable. DLV stands for data layer variable and click save. Then we will need to create a trigger that will fire a tag and it will send an event to Google Analytics 4. That tag should fire in two cases. The first one is when the event name is form underscore started, and then the other one is form underscore submit. So we can either create two triggers or we can create one trigger that will cover both situations. Let's go to triggers, then new trigger configuration and custom event. Here I can switch to regex matching if I want to include several event names. And that's what I will do. I will enter form underscore started because that's the name of the event. Then I will enter a pipe, which in regular expressions means or, and then I will enter form submit because I know that's the second event name that the listener will push to the data layer. Then let's name this trigger. And then let's click save. Finally, let's create a tag. Go to tags, then new, tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event, and then paste the measurement ID of your GA4 property. That should be the same measurement ID that you have in your Google Tag Manager container. You can also find the measurement ID by going to admin, then data streams, select website data stream, and then copy the measurement ID here. Then go back to Google Tag Manager and paste the ID. And here we want to dynamically send either form started or form submit. So we can just dynamically take from the data layer the variable which is called event right here. It is a built-in variable and it will return either form started or form submit if the form is submitted. So I will just insert the event variable like this. Together with the event, we also want to send the ID of the form. That can be done by going to the event parameters 
then adding a parameter and we can type form ID. And here we will insert the data layer variable that we just created. Then let's go to triggering and select our custom trigger. You know what? In fact, I think we can make the trigger even more precise. Let's click on the trigger. And then we don't want to fire this trigger on partial matches. For example, if someone pushes to the data layer an event form submitted, we don't want to activate this trigger. We want it to fire only when the event name is exactly either form submit or form started. This in regular expressions can be done like that. We will surround this with parentheses and then first we add caret and then here we add the dollar sign. It means that we are looking for the exact match, either this or this, then click save. So the configuration is done. Now let's test if this is working. First, we will name the tag, then click save. And then let's refresh the preview mode. I will click the preview button. Then I will go to the website and I will select the answer to the first question, the answer of the second question, and then let's say the third question and click submit. So here we have in the preview mode two events, form started when the visitor started interacting with the form, and then we have form submit when the form was submitted. On both of these events, our tag fired. Right now when I'm recording this video, there is a bug in Google Tag Manager where there is an unknown tag type. Even though it is displayed like that, this is just a bug of the preview mode. The tag actually probably worked just fine. And after several refreshes of the preview mode, the correct tag type will eventually be displayed. So we have this tag fired right here and then the same tag fired here. Now let's go to the debug view of GA4 and test if the event was received properly. Let's go to analytics. Then in the admin, I will go to data display and debug view. And here I see the form submit event and form started. The form submit event is more important for me because that's the conversion. That's one of the end goals that I want my visitors to complete. That's why I could register this as a key event. This can be done by going to key events, then click new key event and enter form submit and then click save. From this moment, all incoming form submit events will be treated as conversions or as Google Analytics likes to call it now, a key event. So once you made sure that everything is working properly, you have tested this, then go to Google Tag Manager, click Submit, and publish this new version so that the type form tracking would go live for your website visitors. And that's how you can track embedded type form with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.